Hi, this is Gene, and I want to give you a tour of my uh, new car. My new company car is a 2011 Prius. I took delivery of it on the you know, first week of January 2012. Uh, um, a little history on, on the car. I was supposed to get it in the spring of 2011, and then that tsunami caused that nuclear meltdown, and I guess there was a problem with I guess getting some of the parts and so they they first they canceled my order and then they notified us our fleet manager that they would manufacture the car in November or December for a December January delivery and the, they made good on that um, I don't know when it was manufactured but they did tell us even though the 2012s were out they were going to manufacture our car as an 11 so this is indeed Although it wasn't manufactured until, I don't know exactly when, it was around November of 2011. It arrived at the dealership in December of 2011, and I took delivery of it on uh, Wednesday, the first Wednesday of January. So, I think that was the 4th of 2012. So, I've had it for a couple of weeks now. It's mid-January, and... Uh, my first tank of gas, I got, um, well, let me give you a tour and we'll talk about the gas in a minute. Okay, here's the interior. Um, it's got this little thing that says only the owner is to remove this because I think there's some problem with previous models of the floor mat slipping and making the gas pedal stick. I don't know that much about it, but... Uh, uh, and would-be thieves who might watch this, I do not keep valuables overnight in this car because I know that it's super easy to break into and bypass the alarm since there are other uh, Toyota Priuses in the fleet that have been broken into. Oh, I think you got to put your foot on the brake in order to start the car. But I will show you this. Um... Right now it says 45.9 miles per gallon. I will say that the estimated miles per gallon that is displayed on the dashboard is about 2 to 3 miles per gallon off, where the actual is probably closer to 43. And I can tell you this because in my little red notebook, um, my first tank of gas told me that... Uh, the, the dashboard, the first tank of gas, and right now I have 1,795 miles on it. My first tank of gas told me 52.6 miles per gallon, when in actuality I only got 48.71, which ain't bad. My second tank of gas, I went a little crazy on this. I, I was really light on the gas pedal. It has 10, 11.9 um, gallon fuel tank. I went 600.7 miles on one tank. I got 55.11 miles per gallon, although the uh, dashboard read 57.4. So it was only a couple of miles per gallon off on the second tank. So right now I'm on my third tank and I'm not being so crazy. I pissed off. I, I really did piss off a lot of drivers by being so easy, especially coming when, when at a green light, accelerating. It, um, and then on the highway, I spent a lot of time in the right lane, which is rare for me. Um, anyway, I, I made it 600 miles, 600.7 miles. And believe it or not, I actually had 50 miles to go because I only filled the tank to 10.901 gallons. So, anyway, I got 55.11 miles per gallon. And on this next one, I'm just kind of driving normally. I'm staying in this, it's called Eco Mode. There are these modes. Power Note Mode, I've never pushed that button. Eco Mode and EV Mode. My, my friends, uh, Rick and Sandra, they have two Priuses. And the EV Mode is if the battery is past half and you're driving less than 25 miles per hour and so you can actually run just on battery but anyway you keep you keep it in eco mode and when you're driving 
you stay inside here even when you're accelerating and you can get really good mileage like right now it reads 45.9 because I'm I'm just trying to drive it you know normally and uh, I, I'm still since I got this car way easier on the gas pedal than ever before um, everybody knows I'm a lead foot so anyway I'm trying to keep the car real clean I hope to buy it afterwards I have what three or four years of a lease on it so I want to show you a couple of cool things couple of places where it's wearing that makes me crazy. Um, right here it's wearing. Where um, twice I've put the baby's car seat in here and I buckle it in real tight using the kids connectors. And it's starting to show a little wear right here. I'm like, dude, it's only two weeks old and it's only been in there twice. Bath. And uh, I'm not a car detailer, so I can wash the car and then I miss this stuff. And this is going to be a problem. This is the, the cover for the back. And, you know, I have, I have a soil probe that gets dirty and some of my diagnostic tools that get dirty. And I try to keep the, the soil samples, I try to keep it clean, but there is a little bit of... I just vacuumed this, and this isn't wearing as well as I'd like. So I haven't gotten car seats yet, haven't eaten or drunk anything in this thing yet, but I'm going to get car seat covers, and I, I guess I should put some sort of tarp down here too. Anyway, this is it. It's a very cool car. It's a very smooth riding car, I guess because it's got brand new shocks. It's not, my, it's not like it's my ever brand new car. It's just... Uh, I had 187,000 miles on my last one, so it's been a while. There it is. So put yourself on a waiting list to buy it from me after the lease is up, because I'm going to be the owner of it. I might not sell it. I love this car so far. Uh, give me some pointers, if you would, how to keep this clean, other than just covering it up. And... Uh, anybody else has any suggestions you can uh, email me offline if you want to know how the bad guys uh, both Priuses here in our fleet in Texas that were broken into uh, in December one week apart from each other one in Austin one in Houston were broken into exactly the same way so I think the word is out how to break into these things. Sorry. Uh, I'll welcome your comments. Get on the waiting list. Thank you.